Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 7 Let's Play where last time guys I made a promise that I did not keep. I'm very sorry, but what I said was we're going to be playing around with dragons in the next episode. But guess what I forgot to do last night? I forgot to start training up a dragon army and that is a terrible thing to do uh, because it still takes 56 minutes. An hour! It's basically an hour to get an army. It's ridiculous. Why would anybody wait an hour for an army when they can wait 17 minutes, which is less than a third of the time, to get something that's almost as good? Of course, not as good at Dark Elixir farming, but just as good at Elixir. Actually, better at farming Elixir. So I um, I lied. and I, I didn't mean to. It was not intentional. Uh, but we're still with the Barch. And today's goal will obviously be to get some other major Elixir upgrades done, including maybe a third barracks that can use dragons. I don't know. Let's just see. I mean, I've already got pretty much max loot. So let's take a look at what we've got. Um, to upgrade... Uh, to be able to do uh, dragons even quicker because right now the training time is four minutes per dragon and the current time is Six minutes, so that's a pretty big. That's a third of the time. That's really really quick So definitely want to upgrade this barracks In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do it because again I've got full storage and I need to use them up before we go out and raid again So let's do this one million elixir getting our third barracks to unlock dragons and speed up the army process in three two one Bam. Okay, that's done. So let's move this across and um, yeah, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to have any excuses after this, guys. Also, if I upgrade this, this is only 80,000 and it gets us closer. So let's go ahead and upgrade this one too. Three, two, one, bam. Okay, and then I need to uh, spend some gold. I'm just going to spend a ton of gold. I'm probably not going to have... Uh, ooh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Yeah, this is half a million. That's a million. You know what? I'm just going to spend... I'm going to spend half a million loot on walls real quick, okay? Yeah, let's spend half a million loot. That's going to open up our storages just enough. And now let's go attack some bases, okay? I don't want to spend all of my gold because I may not end up with enough elixir to do any more real important upgrades, if that makes sense. So I want to make sure that I still can use all four of my builders. So, ooh. Perfect barge base. See, if I brought dragons, it'd be overkill. It'd be a waste of elixir and a waste of time. But with this base, check this out. I mean, all the loot. Look at all this elixir sitting on the outside. No big deal. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's do one arch over there for the corner building. Uh, there's really, uh, there's a lot of gold down here. Obviously, I want that. You know what? I guess I should probably just wrap up the entire base. So, I'm going to send in a small layer of barbarians and archers here just to make sure that we take out the king and the queen. Or, the, not, there's no queen. It's Tom Uh Just to take out the enemy king. Level 2. The dragon, or the, uh, uh, dang, I'm all tongue-tied. The barbarian should be able to get it done. So now let's send in the rest of the barbs and the rest of the archers. Archers are very, very key here because... Well, actually, the barbarians are the ones that can get to it. The archers don't even have to get to the loot, so... Whatever. Anyway, just get the loot, get the art, the the elixir, and and I'll be happy. Plus, it's three hundred thousand elixir. That's pretty sweet, right? Ooh, ooh, this is bad. This is not good. This side is not strong enough. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, oh, we missed out on some of the. Ooh, actually, you know what? Maybe if we're lucky, our troops. Ooh, no, they're they're dealing with two. A line of splash damage is the worst. It just is the worst. Look at that. Look at all those troops that got killed there. That was brutal, but we still got, oh wow, over 300,000 elixir. That's still pretty dang awesome, okay? That's still pretty awesome. I love that. And I got some star bonus loot, which is great. Let me spend a little bit of gold just to, um, you know, make a little bit of room. I don't know, let's do one more maybe. Yeah, let's do one more after that. There we go. Okay, very good. And I should get, I got some easy gold. I got some easy dark elixir. <gasps> Dark Elixir! Wait a minute! The King is only 10,000 Dark Elixir! I got enough! Dude, I've got more than enough! Look! Free Dark Elixir, let's claim that. Oh, baby! We're gonna get the King today! Oh, I didn't expect that! Awesome! Alright, King. Here's what you do. 
You come in and you rescue. You you save the day. That's what you do as a person. Okay, you ready, king? That's awesome. We just got the king. Feels good. Feels real good. So the next king upgrade is going to be 12,000 elixir. Or dark elixir. That is a lot of dark elixir. Man, that's brutal. Okay, well, let's get more loot. I think I've got plenty of storage space. And we'll figure out the rest later. But I got the king, finally! I mean, I have not at all been trying to get the dark elixir for the king. I've been mostly focusing on the elixir to get the dragons, because the dragons are crazy good at getting the dark elixir. I thought, ah, it'll, it'll come in time. But hey, you know what? That is awesome. I think this is the first time that I've ever gone through Tunnel 7 with the season pass. It's super helpful. It gives you so much loot that you probably don't deserve, to be honest. Oh, but it's so great. So check this out. I have just found the mother lobe. The flippin' mother load. Wow. 495,000 elixir. I'm just seeing if I can find the rest of the bombs, because I'm pretty sure they're going to be in a very horrible position to be in. But, alright, let's go. Barbarians, get in there, buddies. Archers, you gotta back up the king. Or the king's dead. Is, he king Is the king dead already? He's, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he was close. So as long as we are able to get in there and get the elixir out of the storages there, dude, we are in uh, a really great position. So it's all about time right now because these mortars are raining down terrible things onto my troops right now. Come on, archers, get that elixir. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got the town hall too. There's loot in that town hall. Gotta love it. There you go. And we got the dark elixir out of the drills. I'm not sure we're going to get the dark elixir out of the storages, uh, or storage, but I'm not sure that really matters, because right now, look at that. Oh my goodness. We just got half a million elixir on a, it was a progress base. This guy obviously had a, a progress base running, and he has to get his walls lined up and everything, so, I mean, I'm, I'm satisfied. Stupid cannon, leave my archer alone. Man, <laughs> it would have been so epic if that cannon couldn't reach that archer, and the archer got the dark elixir storage. That would have been absolutely epic, but, um, wow. And that's perfect. I don't really need gold. I need elixir. So that was perfect. 480,000 elixir. Man, that's beautiful. Plus 224 dark elixir. I mean, you know, every little bit counts. So, dude, after, after that beautifulness that we just experienced, let's, let's just make some decisions, shall we? Let's make some decisions. I got an email. Oh, worthless. Junk spam email. I hate it. All right, let's just let's just think for a second, okay? This army camp to max. I believe max is level six, so we'll finally be able to max out the army camps. This is a number one priority right here, okay? Let's do this without even thinking much about it. Twelve hour upgrade, seven hundred fifty thousand elixir in three, two, one, bam. Okay, and that does not leave me with the whole lot left over. Um, as far as the elixir is concerned, but I'm pretty sure that I can still upgrade something in the lab. Uh, do I have any free elixir somewhere? I do. Half a million free elixir. I'm gonna take the gold. I'm gonna take the dark elixir. Dude, we are, we're sitting pretty. We are sitting beautiful, actually, if that's even an expression. So, um, I can't quite, dang it. I really wanted to upgrade the- Oh, I wasn't gonna upgrade the dragons! I was gonna upgrade the raid spells, but I can't afford it! But I'm close, but I can't afford it. I've got my loot- Oh, I forgot I had loot in the treasury. Oh my goodness. How lucky does it get, man? How lucky does it flip and get? Alright, let's max out the raid spells. I believe level 4 is maxed. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know for sure, though. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. This is amazing. Let's go. 1.8 million elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so the next thing is gold. I'm going to spend it all on walls. You know why? Because I have just enough dark elixir to upgrade the king to level 2. Yeah. Uh, big time. Big, big, big awesomeness. Alright, that's big awesomeness right there. So, before we use up that builder though, we got to spend the gold. And I'm literally going to spend all of my gold on walls. I mean, it's going to be a really big chunk. That is a lot of walls right there. I almost got that perfect. Look at that. Alright, let's go ahead and spend that. And I've got a little bit more in the treasury. We might as well... You know what? I'm going to... 
I'm going to keep that under wraps for just a moment. Also, I don't know why it's bothering me, but this drill needs to be separated from the lap. There you go. Okay, let's upgrade this king, guys. 12 million, or 12 million, oh my goodness. 12,000 Dark Elixir, uh, and only a 12-hour upgrade. He'll be awake tonight. Super late, super late at night, but it's going to be, he'll be awake. So, uh, 12,000 Dark Elixir, let's go in three, two, one, bam. I don't know about you guys, but it's so poetic. It's so poetic. I, I didn't expect to get the king today, which is already amazing. And then now I'm getting to upgrade him today. It's perfect. And the fact that we're going to get another barracks that has uh, the lava on top, you know, allow, allows you to get the dragon. It's perfect. I'm going to be able to uh, get dragons in a, an even quicker amount of time. And we're slowly working toward actually being able to get dragons as fast as possible so it's a win-win for everybody that's involved which is me and my troops and my king so today's been a good day also look at all the walls man look at all the walls we only have let me look 71 walls left and i really haven't even touched defense as much i mean i, I maxed out an air defense that giant bomb i think was already maxed out that's it i have not done a lot on defense but my walls are nearly maxed so pretty flipping amazing Ooh, and i actually can I need to place this king's altar too. Okay. I would like to move the stone, but I've got no builders. Um, actually, you know what? It would probably be smart to put the king near the CC. There we go. There we go. So for those of you that are maybe using my base, that is where I'm putting my king right there. Perfect. All right, guys, amazing progress today. Uh, who knows what we're going to be up to next time. But for now, that's all for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the hashtag Klaus family. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. And do consider becoming a member for 24-hour early access to videos with ad-free. All you have to do is join, become a member. The link is down below in the description. Also, don't forget to use the creator code to support your favorite content creator with your in-game purchases. If you choose to support me, uh, my code is Klaus. You can find the link down below in the description, but it expires after seven days. You want to make sure that you're supporting somebody before you buy something. So here's how you double check. You go into your shop and you look for the white C below the red X. There is no white C below that red X. So that means I needed to put in the code. So use the link in the description or go to your settings, more settings and create a boost. Hit enter code Klaus and send the code. Boosh. Now you're supporting somebody. You can see that it's there. The white C below the red X. You click it. And you are now currently supporting whoever you chose to support. So anyway, that's how you do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.